Welcome to Douglas County News Exchange. I'm your host, Lena Hardy. Happy New Year, Douglas County. It's 2020 and I wish you a new year of good health, wealth, and happiness. But before we move too fast, let's recap with our first segment focusing on community. Santa needed a little help last Christmas and help came from every corner. From the teenagers at Douglas County Boys and Girls Club, as they took time to hand out over 200 hygiene bags for the less fortunate, and our very own Solicitor General, Sonia Compton, and staff, who participated in her outreach program to bring joy to families in need during the holiday season. Next up, we turn our attention to ShareHouse, which is a nonprofit organization that provides crisis intervention to address the causes and effects to domestic violence. To bring more awareness to the organization and the crisis, watch this PSA. Moving on for our entertainment segment, I made a visit to Boundary Waters Aquatic Center. If you're looking for something fun and active to do, check out all of their new programming. With more information on each program, here's Program Coordinator Thomas Combs. We have actually been really lucky over the past year, uh, especially because when we had my new boss come on board, Chad Griffin, who is the aquatic superintendent, one of the things he said to us when he sat all of us down was, I would like to see some new programs happening at this aquatic center. I want this place uh, thriving with as many people as humanly possible. So for the past year, we have been slowly building up with new programs over time. One of the first things that we did was a GRPA Family Health and Fitness Day, where on that particular day we offered free water aerobics classes and we also offered free admission to everybody. We also hosted a customer appreciation day where once again, anybody that walked in through the door got to enjoy our facility free of charge. We also got a chance to introduce a group swim lesson program for adults because that was something we were hearing from the community, which is we have a bunch of adults that would love to learn how to swim and there's really not a whole lot of other options. So they came to us and we decided to make it happen and we offered it this past year. We also offered a swim lesson clinic at Thanksgiving for adults, and we also offered a swim lesson clinic for kids during the winter break, along with a music class called Generation Pound. So all of those things that we did this past year led to us doing new programs for 2020. The other big impact that we had was we offered a series of school field trips during the month of October where kids from Fair Play Middle School got a chance to come to our facility and partake in a, tr a free swim lesson, 
a water aerobics class. They also received training on first aid and CPR, and it was all listed into one lump sum where the kids got a chance to participate in. So as far as our new programs this year, we started off 2020 strong with our regular lineup of water aerobics classes of H2O Fit, H2O TLC, and Water Aerobics by Dana, along with our DCS, uh, which is the Douglas County Stingrays swim team programs. And our newest programs that we have include a aqua fusion program, which is a combination of water boot camp, aqua zumba, and it comes with a meal plan for participants as well. We also offered an aqua boxing program this week and an aqua pole program this week. It's exactly as it sounds. It is a pole in the water where people will get a chance to utilize it to lift themselves up and down and get a workout from it. We are also offering a new program called Splash Party, which is a Latin dance class in the water where participants get a chance to learn different styles of Latin dancing, but they'll also learn how to speak Spanish as well because the teacher instructs the class in the Spanish language as well. We are also offering a capoeira martial arts program uh, for adults and kids. And that, that too involves a lot of um, instruction through the culture, through the language and music from Brazil because it's a Brazilian martial art. And participants will get a chance to not only enjoy that, but they'll also learn Portuguese as well. So our programs that we're offering is a combination of learning multiple things at the same time. And we are also offering a H2O HIT program, which is high intensity interval training, hence HIT, H-I-I-T. And that program is really designed for people that want that extra challenge in the water and want that competitive drive. And that's just the beginning for 2020. That's just what we're doing right now. Who knows what we're gonna be doing in the next couple of months. The great thing about our facility is it doesn't require any membership at all. Anybody can walk in through the door and use our facility. They just pay the daily fee. For our programs exclusively, they will have to pay an additional fee. But when you compare that price to other fitness programs, whether it be through a main gym, they tend to be on the lower side. As a matter of fact, I think the highest pricing we charge for a drop-in is $15. Um, and that's for either an aqua boxing or an aqua pole class. The majority of our other pricing ranges from $10 a drop in to, to 12 to seven. Uh, so it's within that range. Over the past five years, we have made steady growth when it comes to the amount of revenue that the facility has been able to bring in. This past year alone was our biggest year in that we saw a 14% growth compared to previous years. And that alone just goes back to how important it is to be offering good quality programs for Douglas County residents. And that just goes to show that this is obviously what the residents want. Let's continue offering it to them. For our last segment, we turn our focus to government updates. The Douglas County Transportation Center had a groundbreaking ceremony for the new addition that will be attached to the current building on Doris Road. Director Gary Watson and Transportation Committee Chair and District 2 Commissioner Kelly Robinson made remarks during the ceremony. Check it out. Today is another special day as we move toward that goal as we break ground for the 6,000 square foot addition to the Douglas County Transportation Center. Let me tell you a little bit about the addition to the Transportation Center. It's going to have administrative offices, a training bay where we can actually drive vehicles inside and get them out of the weather as we teach our, our drivers how to do things like uh, check tire pressure and oil pressure. We're going to have a 40 person lecture hall, training room. We're going to have a drug testing suite, administrative offices, and also um, a driving simulator where we'll actually have, be able to have behind the wheel training for the drivers of our vans and, and bus fleet. So we're very excited about this. Now, none of this could be possible without the support of our Board of Commissioners. 
And we're very thankful for the direction of our chairman, Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones, our vice chairman, Kelly Robinson, who is also head of the Transportation Committee, District 1 Commissioner Henry Mitchell III, uh, District 3 Commissioner Terenia Carthen, and District 4 Commissioner Ann Jones Guider. Well, thank you very much for that. I want to make some introductions this morning. Uh, Starting over here, we have Ron Roberts, who is the director of our planning and zoning department. He also has a little history with the uh, Connect Douglas program. James Worthington, our development services director, who's had a big hand in uh, planning for this edition. We have Commissioner Mitchell, Commissioner Carthen, Commissioner Robinson, our county administrator, Mark Till, who has been very instrumental in this project. We have Jamal Shepard, our transit services coordinator, who oversees our bus service. We have Miguel Valentin, our transportation director. Justin McDermott, the Connect Douglas operations assistant, who is overseeing the, this actual uh, project for us. And we have Michael Attenborough and Christopher Gillum of Headley uh, Construction Company, our prime contractor for this project. At this time, I'm going to ask Commissioner uh, Kelly Robinson, uh, the chairman of our transportation committee and a, a strong proponent of public transportation and mobility service, if he'll come forward and say a few remarks. We're, we're excited about what we're looking for today. This is another symbolic change in Douglas County's history. A shift in our fiscal policy, a more focused application of our money, and something that we call transit, which is really trying to get people around. We have a diverse mix of people here. We have a diverse application of how we apply tax dollars. And this is just the beginning, an expansion. Um, if you look at our staff, um, they're, they're very dedicated to what we're trying to do here today. And, and can we just applaud them really for what this work right now, Gary? Can we? Yes, I mean, here we are going into the dead fall, dead winter, and they're at work. I mean, this is county government at work, tax dollar dollars at work. So we're excited about this. Um, I, again, I cannot ask um, Gary Watson's dedication any more than what he's done and Miguel Valentin's for getting this project done. But more importantly, um, for our citizens, because they see that we're committed to this. We talked about the five options of mobility. We think that's important, but there's more to be done. Connect Douglas is in full swing and running on the streets of Douglas County. After providing free rides for the month of December, ridership increased. And Connect Douglas is hoping the numbers will continue to improve throughout 2020. To learn more about Connect Douglas, watch this PSA for all of the facts and details. In an effort to meet the growing transit and mobility needs of our county, the Douglas County Board of Commissioners has expanded transportation options for citizens with the Connect Douglas Fixed Route Bus Service. Whether you're up for dining, shopping, working, or enjoying the many amenities of Douglas County, Connect Douglas's Fixed Route Bus Service will help to connect you to the places you want to go. Fixed Route means the bus will travel the same path and serve the same locations every day. There will be established stops along each route. However, the driver can pick you up anywhere along the route, provided there is a safe place to pull over and let you board. We will also offer flex route, which means by calling ahead, the bus can deviate from its route and pick you up at your location, provided you are within the perimeter of the area we have established for this service. For seniors and people with disabilities who cannot get to the established pickup points on the route, we will offer ADA paratransit, you must call ahead and make a reservation for this service. There is a simple certification process and additional charges may apply. We are so excited about the new fixed route shuttle system that we're bringing to Douglas County. To begin with, we'll be operating Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Saturdays from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. One-way fares are $2.50. You can pay with exact cash as you board the bus or purchase a multi-trip pass at the Douglas County Transportation Center located at 8800 Doris Road in Douglasville. 
Discounted tickets of $1 are offered to senior adults age 60 and older, students, and individuals with disabilities. A photo ID discount card will be issued after completing a simple verification process at the Douglas County Transportation Center. Individuals will use the discount card when boarding the bus or paying for a multi-trip pass. The vehicles are called cutaways and are more like vans than buses. Each cutaway can carry a driver, 12 ambulatory passengers, and two wheelchairs. The vehicles have a wheelchair lift, a bicycle rack, audio announcement system, a fare box, security cameras, and digital destination signs. The Connect Douglas fixed route bus service will begin with four routes. Route 10 service area will include North Douglasville, the Boys and Girls Club, Arbor Place Mall, Walmart, Sam's, the Douglas County Health Center, and Douglasville Conference Center. Route 20 service area will include Douglas County Courthouse, Wellstar Hospital, West Georgia Technical College, Target Shopping Center, Georgia Highlands College, and the Douglasville Post Office. Route 30 will serve Thornton Road Walmart, Cobb West Business Park and Six Flags Industrial Park, Tributary Community and the Employment Hub, including the Amazon Fulfillment Center, West Rock, Medline, and Coloplast. Route 40 connects to Routes 10, 20, and 30 to provide service from Douglasville to the Lithia Springs area. This route will also provide a connection to Cobb Link Route 30, which will provide a connection to the HE Home Smarta Station. For more information about Connect Douglas Fixed Route Bus Service and the many ways the Douglas County Division of Transit Services serves the citizens of Douglas County, please visit us online at connectdouglas.com or contact us at 770-949-7665. That's our show for this month. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out all of our programming on DCTV 23. You can find us on Comcast Channel 23, AT&T U-verse Channel 99, and online at DCTV23.com. We end our show with the monthly birthday celebration for seniors at the Woody Fight Senior Center. See you next time. Okay, happy, happy, happy Blessed New Year to everybody here. We have our January birthday babies here. I think some of y'all might have been the first babies in the year that you were born. I don't know about that. <clears throat> so, I'm Sharon Johnson. I'm the director here at the Woody Fight Center. And we are happy to have with us today, too, Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones. And she's got a few words for you. Happy birthday, and first of all, Happy New Year. Look at all these January babies. You all were the first. So I, you always come prepared with your birthday hats on. So you set the, the tone for the year. So thank you so much. And on behalf of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, we are delighted to celebrate our seniors' birthday. And you're not seniors, you're babies, right? Yeah, senior babies. So thank you all so much. Uh, and I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful holiday. And again, happy, happy birthday from the Douglas County Board of Commissioners. Thank you. Okay, we're going to start over here with Barbie. Okay, that's what we all call her around here. Barbie. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Barbara Stachinsky. I'm 75 years old, born and raised in Detroit, Michigan, and I came here in 2005, and the Woody Fight Center has been a blessing to me because of all the friends I've met here. Thank you. Okie doke, good. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah, she also met a very special friend here, too. So. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Believe it or not, we have a lot of that happening here. <laughs> and that, that's a good thing. That's a good that's thing. 11 that's 11 years, too. Huh? It's 11 years now. Oh, 11 wow. years now. So that, that is excellent here. <laughs> okay, here we go. My name is Marie Weehunt. Uh, I'll be 82 years old, the 27th, and I live in Douglas County. Where were you born? Atlanta. In Atlanta. A Grady baby? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Happy uh, birthday. Well, yes. <laughs> okay, my dear. Susan Ingram. I've been born and bred, raised, whatever. In Georgia, you can tell by my accent, I'll be 68 years old, January 5th, Sunday. Okay, All right, very happy good. Happy birthday. 
very, Sunday. very good. Uh huh. You are. Yeah. I, I'm a Charles Powell. I'm. Well, I'm. I guess I'm. Yeah, I'm. Uh, 80, 85 years of age. That's oh, it. Wow. 85. Okay. I was born in Los Angeles, California. We moved here about three months ago. My my grandmother and my mother were from here initially, and so I thought I'd return to where they lived when they were younger. And I love it here. Oh, okay. fantastic! Return to the home Southern roots, right? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. Okay, happy birthday! Excellent. Thank you. All right. Hi, Patricia Landers. I was born in Atlanta, Georgia, in Crawford Long Hospital, and I will be 71 years old on January the 20th. Okay, well, happy, happy birthday. birthday to you. Hello. My name is Valerie Bosty Page, and I was born and raised in New York. Mm -hmm. I moved to California in 77, where I lived uh, until 2018, where I moved to Georgia, Douglasville. And I love it here, and I'll be 67 on January 8th, me and Elvis Presley. Yeah. All, all right, right, all right. <laughs> okay. Happy, birthday. Okay. happy all birthday. Happy right. birthday. Thank you. <laughs> You're going to have to make it to Memphis one day. Yeah, okay. I'm going to. And I'm from Memphis, oh, so right. you can come visit. Wow. Yes, okay, that's where I was born and raised. Okay. Uh, good morning. My name is Christine Dixon, and I'm originally from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I worked in Virginia for about 40 years, and then I moved to Douglasville. And on January 24th, it will be a blessing to be 76 years old. Oh, wow. wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. And one of Happy our fantastic birthday. volunteers, too, yes. I might Yes. yes. <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> wow. wow. Okie doke. Hello. My name is Dale Roberts. I was born in Fulton County. My birthday is January the 16th. And that's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> yeah, age is an option. <laughs> age is an option. Oh, man. Happy birthday. So far, we haven't had any international. No normally, yeah. we do. So we'll see We're about just that. Keep okay. Right. I'm Susan Briscoe. I was originally, uh, um, excuse me, born in Kansas City, Missouri. I've mm -hmm. been a, uh, uh, <coughs> lived in Douglasville for uh, 10 years now. And my birthday is January the 29th, where I'll be a blessed 63. Okay. All right. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Okay. Happy this birthday. is another one of our good volunteers here, too. I'm Shirley Kelly from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I've been in Georgia since 2008, and I love the Woody Fife Senior Center. Every, every state should have one. Oh, wow. And uh, anybody that want to join the Red Hats, come on down to the Woody Fife Center. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. She is, a, she is the Red Hat queen for us. <laughs> my, my name is Joan Hamilton, and um, I, moved, I moved here f not so far away, but I moved to uh, be with my family, and they we're really good together, and so it's all well and good. And uh, my birthday is 12353, which makes me 67 on the 23rd of January. Okay. And where were you born? I was born in Indiana. All right. Okay. Good. Indiana. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. One of our ping pong players. Yeah, oh. yeah. I, I play the ping pong here. Okay. But uh, my name is Peter Fabrice, and I'm born in. Amsterdam, the Netherlands. There we go. January 22nd, 1946. So. Okay. Very I good. moved a lot around in the world. I used to work for IBM, and they mo IBM means I'm being moved, and I moved <laughs> a lot. <laughs> White Plains, New York, from Amsterdam, and um, I lived in Florida for a number of years, and since 1996, uh, just before the Olympics, I moved to uh, the Atlanta area, and I'm still here. <laughs> You're still here? Yes. Yeah. Very good. So and we did get our international. We have our international yeah. baby. That's right. Happy birthday, Mr. Peter. Thank you. I'm uh, Gene Hendricks. I was born January 3rd, 1941. I'm 79. I. Uh, my, bro my brother and I were the first twins born in Texas in 1941. All right. And uh, moved here in 60. Yeah, moved here in 60 and uh, been here ever since. Okay. So you, you're basically hometown Douglas yeah. County. Right. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank Happy you, birthday. Jim. My name is Ruth Hill, and my birthday is January the 14th. 
I'm originally from Georgia, Cartersville, and I'm done. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Okay. She's some short All right, and here's sweet. here's a gentleman. I've already told him I like his tie. I'm <laughs> sure he looks very good when he goes to church on Sunday morning. Okay. okay. Uh, my name is Roosevelt Muhammad. This is my wife, Lily. Oh. And uh, I'm originally from North Carolina. Came here from Connecticut. And uh, my birthday is on the 25th, the 80, 83. Okay. Right. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Where Happy in North Carolina? Uh, Aiden, A-Y-D-E-N. I know where it is. Oh, you do? I'm an old South Carolina girl, okay. honey. Uh, <laughs> okay. What part of South Carolina? Greenville. Uh huh. Okay. Greenville. My daughter went to college in All Greensboro. Right. Mm -hmm. This gentleman here. My name is Harry Smith. My birthday is January 31st, 1949, which will make me 71 years old. Okay. And, and where were you born? born? Right in the big city. Of Douglasville. Okay. Oh, hi, in the big city. <laughs> Happy I've birthday. I've been in the hospital right up there on Fairburn Road. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, think I'll, I think I was born at home. Oh, okay. okay. And that's very oh, possible. That's oh, surprise. Yes, I love the hat. <laughs> okay. Your name? My name is Teresa Yvonne P. Where uh, were you born? Um, let's see, where was I born? No, I was born in Nashville, Tennessee. All right. Uh, I moved, or we, the family moved north to Detroit, Michigan. I was there most of my life. In fact, I would say all my life because I moved there when I was three. And we moved here three years ago in Douglasville, Georgia. And I love being here. I should have moved a long time ago. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, and a bid whist player. And a bid whist player. Yeah. <laughs> and she's a bid whist player. Oh. Yeah, yeah this the lady loves bid whist player. <laughs> That's correct. That is correct. Well, happy, happy birthday. birthday. All right, thank you. <laughs> okay. I'm Dot Mill. I was born in Cobb County, moved mm -hmm. to Douglasville in 71. Yes, ma'am. And on the 14th, I'll be 91. Oh, wow. oh fantastic. 91. Fantastic. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Beautiful. I'm trying to make sure it's here. Okay. Okay. This is a gentleman here that got our oldest male at the senior picnic, correct? Right. Okay. All right. I'm Bob Gruber. I, I was born in the house that my grandfather built in Camden Hill, Pennsylvania, which is just outside of Pittsburgh. And that auspicious date was January 13, 1926. So if, if your mathematics is correct, that makes me coming up on 94 years this, this month. Oh, Fantastic. Right. Fantastic. Uh, uh, as a Presbyterian minister, I've lived in uh, numerous places, but my wife and I moved here to Douglasville seven and a half years ago to be closer to our family in our golden years. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My name is Barbara Swaim. I was born in Fort Valley, Georgia, raised in Brooklyn, New York. We returned to Georgia in 2015. Uh, my birthday was January 2nd. I am 71 years old. Okay. Happy birthday. Right. Happy birthday. All right. This is one of our artists in residence here. Uh-huh. So. Uh, good morning. My name is Sam Swaim. I'm the other half of uh, Barbara. Um, let's see, I had a speech prepared and I forgot. I was born, <laughs> I was born in uh, Dallas, Texas. I grew up, not Dallas, Georgia, Dallas, Texas. I grew up in uh, Wichita, Kansas, uh, spent 28 years in the Air Force, 30 years in New Jersey and moved uh, here in 2015 and starting to like it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but I love the senior center. Got me back to painting and um, that's a good thing. All right. Yeah. We appreciate those words. And we appreciate yeah. Sharon. Your birthday. Oh, thank you. My birthday is January 8th. Me and Elvis and the lady over there. Uh-huh. <laughs> and how are we going to be? 79. 79. All okay. right. Happy birthday. All right. Did I miss anybody? I don't think so. Okay. It's now time. song time. 
okay? Okie doke. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you.